action hello my future tattoo peeps welcome welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video in today's video i am making an illustration inspired by an aesthetic so we decided to oh i didn't even tell you i'm having a collab with the instrasive in, in industrious industrious artist also known as emily um i came across her channel a while ago but i went back and i kind of like binge watching all of her videos and she is a super underrated artist absolutely love her art but we'll talk more on that later so um yeah i guess without further ado let's just get right into the video so hey guys as you as i just told you i'm having a collab with the industrious artist so the idea for this collab was that we were going to make a illustration based off a aesthetic but our aesthetic or each other's aesthetic so over on emily's channel you will notice that she kind of carries a vintage uh aesthetic and her art is very inspired by medieval times which i absolutely love i think it's so cool and as you guys can tell from me i am more of a pink bubbly kind of colors everywhere type girl so yeah i thought we thought this would be fun and this is what i came up with i created a character off camera and i made this girl um there's, I put a lot of thought into this. One main thing is because I know on Emily's channel, she does a lot of, uh, like I already said, medieval and elf warrior type girls. And I've been wanting to do that for a while. So it was just a perfect excuse. So this is what I mean. I really like it. I don't have a name for her yet. Uh, but yeah, she's an uh, elf obviously and she's like a warrior she has a sword and i really um like it it actually reminded me of the only other elf character i have uh i think i named her elizabeth woodridge and um now that i'm like looking at it it doesn't look too much like her but i thought i would just pull that out and show you guys I also wanted to try out my watercolors again and recently I made a watercolor portrait because I was really excited when I made that flower and I also do this along with um, Emily and it was my first watercolor painting and I really liked the way how it turned out so that kind of gave me a little bit of motivation to take on this full illustration that I'm going to do for today's video. Okay, so moving on, I wanted to try out the watercolors again to kind of warm me up. I also did this because I, of course, had to find the right colors to use for the final illustration. I wanted to really come into this with a plan and steady and slow, putting my best effort into this because I really wanted it to turn out good. but. I already told myself that it's okay if it doesn't turn out the best because I am very inexperienced with this medium. <laughs> So right now, I guess I can tell you guys what I learned about watercolor through the very little experience that I know and that I kind of researched myself. Um, so from my watercolor paintings that I made in the past, I noticed with the paper I have, I can't erase too much or it'll kind of rip away from the paper almost as if I were to keep erasing and erasing and erasing on normal paper. It'll leave that textured, but I realized on the paper I have, um, you erase even just a little bit and it can leave some texture. So I try to be as careful with that. I also learned that with watercolor, you have to let every layer dry. And for this little person I did, I tried to do that. I didn't do as 
well but i think the finished illustration still turned out pretty good i mean this little practice little sketch that i did but i really tried to push that or i really tried to let each and every layer dry for my final illustration to other watercolor artists or mixed media artists this may seem like pretty basic stuff but i am a marker girl alcohol based marker <laughs> i'm trying to spread my variety of mediums so i'm taking on this challenge if you have any constructive criticism for me i will greatly appreciate it um to help me learn because i'm all ears about learning and finding out new things uh, i will greatly greatly appreciate it <laughs> so moving on this a uh, little sketch i'm drawing right here is just i wanted to see if i could switch the colors around but watercolor is highly uh what is it time consuming so i kind of just dropped out on that <laughs> and figured that this was enough and yeah now it's time to move on to the real deal okay i cleaned my pan and i'm ready to go so i think a good place to start would probably be me making the colors
finished illustration and as you can see I absolutely love it I love how it turned out um I just love this so much and I really think it's cool so right now it's time to peel off the tape unfortunately as you just saw my paper ripped this is real time I'm not even freezing the screen I held my finger there for at least two minutes I have to pause the camera to regain myself. But I went over to the next strip and I kept moving forward. Just so everybody knows, everything's okay. I fixed it. But boy, did I be careful when dealing with taking off this tape. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It, it gives me shivers down my spine just looking back at it. It ended up ripping. Mm, 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 mm. I was peeling it too fast. It, 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 it's just what happens, I guess. <laughs> but moving on, here's the rest of the tape peeling satisfying parts. <laughs> So we started from here and I decorated the page with watercolor everywhere and I really like it. I also sticked in the picture in my sketchbook. You can take a quick look at it again. I really like it. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed. I really like how the spread turned out and how like everything fits together. Looks very, very nice. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you have a fantastic, perfect, blessed day. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye! your aesthetic what is your aesthetic what do you like to do what is your favorite aesthetic let me know in the comments down below <laughs> i haven't seen the end product of my illustration but i'm gonna record the outro right now so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video please like subscribe and go check out emily or elk or intrasive artist i probably said that wrong again. Can I get it together? go check out her channel um her channel will be linked below and um yeah since this is collab go check out her video on her side of this where she makes a where she made where she makes a illustration inspired by my aesthetic or aesthetic that reminds her of me. We've been stalking each other, like, and it's been so fun. <laughs> so feel free to uh, grab your own take on this uh, challenge. Uh, definitely tag me in it because I think these type of videos are so cool. That's why you always see me making character design videos. Feel free to leave any video suggestions in the comments below. Um, and yeah, I love you guys. Hope you have a fantastic, perfect, blessed day.
All right. Um, <clears throat> I hope you have a pretty shots, a perfect blessed day, and I will catch you in the next video. Well, I hope to catch you in the next video. Make sure you put those bell notifications on too, so you can be notified. If you enjoyed this video, you might like this one, or you might like this one. So, bye.